Hey, what's up? This is Liam from Cancer Bats. You're watching Vision for Dreams TV. Make sure you subscribe. Backstage with um, one of the members of Cancer Bass. You're gonna have a chat about What's where they've up? been and where they're heading to next. Right, the band got together roughly around about 2004, and it's been a bit of a collective. It's changed since then. Um, so, can you tell us a little bit about the start and um, how you came about being the Cancer Bats? Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely had some member changes along the way. I think I was even saying this before when we first started. I mean, kind of when you start with any project, a lot of times with bands, it's just getting together with friends and like wanting to make some music and not really being like, let's start a business and yeah. let's go on tour. So when we first started, it was just like uh, Scott and I wanting to make some music and wanting to like, you know, play some different stuff. But we were even living in opposite cities. So I was like six hours away from him. So we were just like, this band won't be serious. Like, you know, we'll take the train every once in a while and we'll hang out. And, uh, and so we recorded a demo. We, we found a drummer. I asked my best friend to play bass. And then we recorded a demo and uh, everyone got really excited about it. Like, I guess they thought we were kind of doing something different. And yeah. uh, a lot of our friends who were in bands like Alexis on Fire and Comeback Kid and bands like that were just like, oh, this is awesome. Like, you guys should just be a real band. Like, you could actually do this. Yeah. And so we were like, oh, OK, cool. So we we're like, we should probably get like a, a real drummer, you know, if we're going to do that. And so that was when we got Mikey into the band. Um, and then we started touring really hard and, you know, getting all these opportunities and started touring the world. And our bass player was like, I, I never really meant to be a bass player. Like, I never really signed on for this. He had his own graphic design business. So we were like, okay, you'll be the fifth member. You still do all of our records, all of our t-shirts, everything. But we'll get a bass player. So then that's when we got Jay. So we're like, now we have a touring bass player, we have a touring drummer, we have like a real band, right. and now we can just stay on tour forever. <laughs> That's excellent. One of the things you just mentioned about some other bands or band members, you know, there was a collection again as well of different musical influences. What were some of those um, in sort of like established acts that you, uh, you might still be influenced by today? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the big thing that when we were starting, we found there was too many bands that only had kind of around us that only had one influence and we were kind of like well we love so much different music like why can't we mix you know hardcore punk thrash metal like why can't we do it all together in kind of some of the ways that like you know bands we grew up loving like biohazard dri suicidal tendencies so we were looking at like you know black flag and led zeppelin and yeah. white zombie and you know like every band that we could to like blend all that together I and mean, even just like your style, you, your name's quite interesting. How did you then concoct that cancer bat? Um, I knew I wanted to start a band and I needed like a band name that wasn't taken. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna like put diseases and animals together. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna call the band. I'm thinking either cancer bats or my other name was pneumonia hawk. And I was like, I figured like no one could spell pneumonia, yeah. nor could anyone pronounce the word pneumonia when they read it, yeah. like with the silent P, like pterodactyl yeah. kind of. So I was like, okay, we'll just go with cancer bats. That'll be easy. I can put bat wings on all of our art and it'll be good. And so that was even before like Scott and I had talked. So when we were like talking about like jamming, like, okay, let's do a, a metal band, but it'll sound like the Misfits and it'll sound like this, it'll sound like that. And I was like, and I want to call it cancer bats. And he was like, yeah. Okay, that's cool, yeah. So you've been, then, you guys have been touring for some time now, so what would you say are some of the most memorable experiences being on tour? So whether they were surreal or just extraordinary experiences? Um, yeah, we have been definitely on tour for a long time. You know, um, last, last year we were lucky enough to go to Romania, and it was like our first time ever going that far east in Europe. And we drove there. We didn't even fly. And so we drove forever. It's only like, I, f I feel like it's only 300 kilometers, but it took us like nine hours because it's like the craziest roads and there's like wild dogs everywhere. And like, there's like horse-drawn carts and like all this stuff. And it was just such like a crazy eye-opening experience. Yeah. And we finally get to the city that we're playing at and like, there's like, all these kids packed in this little club and they know the words to like every single one of our songs. And I'm like, you guys, like some of these kids can't even speak English, but they like know like word for word, like every Cancer Bat song. 
And I'm just like, this is so crazy. You know what I mean? Like when, when Scott and I were starting this band in like a practice space, like in, you know, Montreal, like we didn't think that, you know, eventually we would be in Romania. So stuff like that is always like super surreal when it happens. I guess the next thing is, it's probably an easy question to answer. Which do you prefer then um, personally? Is it touring or being in a studio? Oh, a hundred percent touring. I hate being in the studio. I mean, the only thing I do like is that I get to sleep in my own bed and I get to see my girlfriend every day. But uh, yeah, I love, as far as like performing and music, like I love being on tour and I love that like interaction with people. It's, it's the best. Well, like you said, you started off not intending to form an international band, but here you are now. So what would you say your personal successes or the biggest successes of the bands or what would be the high points of, for Cancer Bands? Um, definitely like, like our success here in the UK. Like again, like we're on tour right now. These are the biggest shows that we've played headlining. Like we're about to headline the biggest show we've ever done in the world, like in the UK, um, which is crazy. Again, being a Canadian band to think that we're gonna have our most success here um, is such like an insane idea. So what are your inspirations and what would you say your message of inspiration for the audiences out there? Always just do it because it's fun. I think that's the biggest thing. Like we would go on tour because we love going on tour and we would play music because we love playing live music and not because, you know, we want to become rock stars and rich and famous because you won't become rich and famous. You know, some people might recognize you at uh, M&S when you buy a salad. But other than that, it's like you need to do it be because you love it. And that's actually what you want to do with your life. And then you won't get let down.